If you're looking for the best sound bars for Sony Bravia TV, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Sony HTA70. Sony has excellent form with soundbars, and the 2021 Watt Hi-Fi award-winning HTA70 soundbar is no different. A 7.12 slab of sound, this Dolby Atmos soundbar packs in two up-firing speakers, two beam tweeters, five front-facing drivers, and a built-in dual subwoofer into a single chassis. Using a combination of driver placement and psychoacoustic techniques, the Sony HTA70 delivers a broad and high soundstage. Whether you're watching immersive content or not, while retaining musicality, presence, and detail, the integrated sub is also particularly impressive with the taut, controlled, and powerful performance. In terms of supported audio formats, the A70 excels itself and includes Dolby Atmos in both the Digital Plus and True HD formats, a DTS-X, LPCM, high-res wireless audio, and Sony 360 Reality Audio. The A70 is as packed with streaming smarts as it is stuffed with speakers with Spotify Connect, Apple AirPlay 2, Google Chromecast all on board and integration into a multi-room system with Amazon Alexa, Apple HomeKit, and Google Home all supported. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Sonos Beam Gen 2. Delivering Dolby Atmos from a small chassis is no mean feat but the 2021 Watt Hi-Fi. Award-winning Sonos Beam Gen 2 achieves a convincing, immersive performance without so much as a vertical speaker in sight. Instead, when watching Atmos content, two of the soundbar's five front-facing arrays are dedicated to reproducing overhead and surround sounds. With its hefty processing power, the Sonos Beam Gen 2 uses psychoacoustic HRTF, had related transfer function technology to give the impression of height without needing to get vertical. While genuine overhead sounds are perhaps a stretch too far for this petite performer, its virtual delivery of the Atmos format outstrips any similarly priced soundbar and even a few that are more expensive. The Beam Gen 2 offers an enveloping, spatial soundscape with rich, detailed audio as well as tangible motion and depth. You can stream to the Beam Gen 2 from a handheld device using Apple AirPlay 2 and Spotify Connect is built into. There will also be a forthcoming upgrade to add support for Amazon Music Ultra HD Audio, which will give access to lossless 24-bit slash 48 HD tracks, as well as Dolby Atmos Music. The number three position is held by Sonos Arc. Sound bars are new territory for Sonos, but the 2021 Watt Hi-Fi award-winning Arc is the only sound bar from the brand to deliver Dolby Atmos with vertical speakers. It sits above the beam, then two in terms of pricing and is suited to 55 in TV and above, with optional wall mounting fixings available for PS79, $79, flash on and $89. There are touch sensitive play slash pause and volume controls on the bar with LED that indicates status and when you're talking to the built in Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa. Connectivity includes AirPlay 2, Ethernet, and eARC for Dolby Atmos from compatible TV. The Sonos Arc uses 11 drivers to create your sound field, several of which are upfiring and angled into your room to bounce sound off your walls and ceiling. You're transported to the heart of the action. Surround effects are expertly placed, and there's great dynamism and good weight to the sound too. Tonally, it's nicely balanced if you just want to listen to music, although it could sound a tiny bit more direct. But there's no doubt this is a hugely impressive soundbar for the money. Next at number 4, we have Sony HD-N and speaker system. Okay, so it's not a soundbar, but we think that anyone contemplating a soundbar should also consider this. Sony's HD-N and offers the same compact, plug-and-play convenience and streaming features of a top-quality soundbar but has the integration and immersive sound of a traditional surround package. Consisting of four identical-looking gray wireless speakers and a hub that connects to your TV, the Sony HD-N and is a flexible, complete Dolby Atmos Cinema in one box. Each of the four speakers contains a 19 front-facing tweeter and full-range X-Balance driver, as well as an upward-firing X-Balance driver that bounces sound off the ceiling. Sony stresses that the speakers don't need to be placed at the same height or in a regulated formation, 
and encourages users to position the speakers arbitrarily, promising an even, uniform, and immersive sound field regardless of the symmetry of your setup. In terms of supported audio codecs, the Anon is well specced, with Dolby Atmos and the Digital Plus and True HD formats, ATS-X, LPCM, high-res wireless audio, and Sony 360 Reality Audio. The latter is a spatial technology intended to surround the listener, with compatible content available from Tidal, Amazon Music HD, Nugs, and Deezer. When watching or listening to more standard stereo fare, the immersive AE setting on the remote can be engaged to mix content to create a 3D version that uses the height speakers in the rears. The number 5 position is held by Blue Sound Pulse Soundbar Plus. First things first, at 4 income high, the Blue Sound Pulse Soundbar Plus is a fair bit taller than your average soundbar and, when placed on the same surface as a TV, will almost certainly block part of the screen. Although it comes with detachable kicks and legs, Blue Sound really intends for the Soundbar Plus to be wall-mounted. There's a bracket included in the box for this purpose, and to keep the installation tidy, the soundbar can be orientated with a cable cove at either the bottom or the top, with an internal accelerometer automatically sensing which way up the bar is. But with the added height, the Pulse Soundbar Plus can accommodate forward-facing drivers larger in diameter than those in most competing models. So despite only offering virtual Dolby Atmos, the resulting performance is impressively detailed, solid, and satisfying. The Pulse Soundbar Plus includes inputs for HDMI eARC, optical 3.5mm analog, and USB-A, as well as an Ethernet port and RC output for an external sub. There is support for high-res audio file formats and streaming onboard courtesy of Apple AirPlay. Two-way at XHD Bluetooth for headphone listening and the Blue OS wireless system that integrates with services including Tidal and Spotify. The number six position is dominated by JBL Bar Studio. There are some fine sound bars to be had for little money, and this JBL proves that. The sound is solid and punchy, connectivity includes a single arc enable HDMI output, an optical digital input, and Bluetooth. Build quality is good, too. It's clear that JBL has crafted this model to its usual high standards of aesthetic modernity. Given its petite size, at 60 km long and 6 km tall, the scale of the JBL sound is a little restricted, but it still delivers a confident sound with plenty of detail, clear dialogue, and punchy, rich bass at the bottom end. You also get JBL surround sound, an in-house technology design to replicate the wraparound sound of a 5.1 system. Further proof this soundbar is aiming to overcome the limitations imposed on it by its size. It might not be a market leader, but this is a superb buy for an impressive all-rounder for the money. If you're after a full-bodied upgrade to your Tele's anemic speakers, you can't go wrong here. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Sennheiser Ambio Soundbar. The Ambio Soundbar is Sennheiser's first consumer speaker. And it's quite the proposition of a premium soundbar crammed full of features including Dolby Atmos and DTS-X support, 4K HDR pass-through, all of which are useful if Netflix and Slash or Amazon are your main movie and TV show source. You also get auto calibration and 4 HDMI inputs, plus Bluetooth and support for Chromecast. Measuring 127 km wide and 14 km tall, it's certainly a beast. The result is that the Sennheiser delivers a sound big enough not to need its own subwoofer, with clear, direct dialogue and detail and subtlety in spades. The way it stretches the sound around you creates a great atmosphere and really draws you into the action. To get the full Dolby Atmos effect, you'll need to wall mount or position the sound bar on the top shelf of your rack so the upward firing speakers aren't obstructed. It's well worth the effort, though. For those who want convincing 3D sound without the speakers, this is the best soundbar with a premium price tag that we've ever tested, which is why it retained its title once again at the 2021 Watt Hi-Fi Awards. The number 8 position is held by Dolly Catch One. There's plenty to talk about with the Dolly Catch One, a soundbar that offers 5 different audio inputs, 3 ways to mount it, and 10 drivers all working together to deliver an immersive sound experience. It is quite tall, so you really have to mount it on a wall but that will only aid bass performance from the rear firing drivers. The Catch One is also a good looking bar and comes in three different finishes, Iron Black, Ivory White, and Mountain White. There's an ARC-enabled HDMI socket for getting the audio from your TV, plus a pair of optical inputs for connecting to older TV and Bluetooth for easy music streaming from a handheld device. 
The Danish company has crammed in four mid slash bass drivers, four passive radiators, and two tweeters inside the soundbar, and it serves a great dynamic performance with a broad, clear soundstage that works well for movies. It also boasts the ability to sound fun with music too. Provided you have space to wall mount it, this bar will be an entertaining addition to any TV setup. Next at number 9, we have JBL Bar 5.0 Multi-Beam. JBL Soundbar is the closest you can get to the big screen sound experience without crowding your lounge with separates. The 5.0 Multi-Beam is affordable without feeling cheap, which is quite an achievement. It's small enough to fit under almost any TV yet feels solid and well-built. And it packs a lot into its modest dimensions. There are 548X 8M racetrack drivers, complemented by 475 passive radiators and a grill that runs from ear to ear with two more drivers on the hood to deliver height effects. It uses Dolby Virtual Atmos rather than the full-fledged real deal but still manages to fill a room with sound. The sound quality is outstanding, with no rough edges at all, even when you turn it right the way up. We could ask for a little more clarity and detail, especially in the considerable bass frequencies and a more open treble response. But this is a full-bodied presentation that's unlikely to fatigue you, even when listening at high volume. If you have a large room to fill but only enough space for a soundbar instead of separates, this could be the ideal solution. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Bose Smart Soundbar 900. Bose's aesthetic sensibilities mean that the Smart Soundbar 900 has a more modern and refined appearance than most of its competition, with a wraparound metal grill and polished, impact-resistant tempered glass top. Underneath the bodywork, Bose's first Dolby Atmos Soundbar Sports has nine channels of amplification, as well as the pair of height drivers. There's one center tweeter flanked by four racetrack transducers. Despite the appearance of its completely wraparound grille, there are no side-firing drivers. Instead, two further transducers are positioned at the far left and right that use Bose's face guide technology, which gives the impression of placing certain sounds at either side of the listening position. As you'd expect from Bose, there are plenty of connectivity options and features on board with a single HDMI eARC port, an optical in, Ethernet, and a USB socket. For streaming, there's Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.2, Spotify Connect, and AirPlay 2. Moreover, from January 2022, there will also be Chromecast on board by way of a retroactive firmware update. There's also support for both Amazon's Alexa and Google Assistants. The onboard Alexa lets users make and receive intercom calls to other Bose smart products and Amazon Echo devices or make hands-free calls to anyone from within your contacts list. That's all for today. We upload tech product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.